Welcome back again, folks. This time is about Tesla. Tesla has been truly bashed around lately with short sellers attacking and news about a famous short seller attacking it big time. Cryptocurrency attached to Tesla now? That's a big question. Um, as soon as Elon said he was accept accepting Bitcoin for payments for his cars, Bitcoin started surging. As soon as he says, hmm, maybe it's taking too much power to produce and generate the Bitcoins and cryptocurrency, um, I'll slow down on accepting Bit on accepted Bitcoins to uh, paying for his cars. And now Bitcoin started moving down on that. So it's a little, a little bit weird now that Tesla and Bitcoin uh, are both really linked together. And in fact, it shouldn't really be. Uh, the, um, the idea behind all this is now we're getting way oversold on Tesla, on the Tesla side, and Bitcoin was doing the same thing. Now, when everyone's bearish um, and we're on the oversold side, you may expect some sort of a bounce at one point. So this is, this is what I was looking at and looking for some, some sort of support and a breakout from, from that old support. And this is what we had this morning. You know, NVIDIA is moving up, AMD is moving up. Um, we might think that we should see a relief on Bitcoin and crypto uh, moving up. So this is a line that I had, you know, and the 574.75-ish, which happened to be the pre-market high on Tesla. Uh, the idea is, you know, we've seen that before, as soon as we break the pre-market high, depending on where we were uh, previously, we are entering uh, the bull side of things. Now, look at this line here. I'll draw it here. You know, this is the pre-market high right here. Um, it was an old line. As you can see here. So as soon as we step above this line, we are entering the buyers, right? You guys all see this, right? So my idea was this, is if we get above that, we could enter long. However, we need a confirmation. Um, Tesla has been faking us out sometimes. So the idea was to be sure that we're not getting faked out. And this is the opening. We opened up hesitation and then it started moving up on volume now on volume is this candle you know this big candle big volume we're moving up however broke under the tima tima is that neon green line under the tima and there was a slow drift going down and slow drift going down However, if you look at the strike on the 580 for tomorrow's expiration, Friday, um, there was a crap load. I mean, a really, really high amount of calls getting bought. 62,000, a little over 62,000 calls sold for tomorrow's expiration, 580. Not all at once, but all together in the first four hours of trading. And now this is when I was looking at an entry. Where? On support. Support is what is the old support line, resistance line that we had at the um, pre-market high and the one I showed you before. So basically this line here will act as support. Looks magic, eh? You've seen that one before. Now. If you saw in chat, I said, I'm not interested. I'm putting levels in and I'm not interested until I see we're reaching that level. Now I'm going to switch to the one minute, one minute. And this is going to tell you something. This is where the sniper mode comes in. Look at this. We touch it. Uh, are we going to get there? See the volume is increasing. I'll show you that here. Volume is, in, is increasing. See this volume increasing. And then, oh, we're slowing down. Oh, again, touched it again. This is the entry. This is when, you know, 
you're doing a double you're having a double bottom here right on that support so basically if we get a flush you know it's an exit point because it's not going to get through so basically if it flushes it's going to flush test the line and flush for real usually that's what it does or we're going to bounce on it and then move up now i'm going to switch back to the five minute chart So this is when we entered right here, five, 580 calls and the price paid uh, for the call was 530 per contract. Now I have a rule selling half at 100%. So basically I sold half at 1160 as we were moving up and later on we kept on moving and moving we broke that high to move up I called the next line to be 589 we were very very close to it and I decided to take more out at very close to 589 this was 11 um, as, sorry I said I said 10 11 60 it's 10 60 you know 100 percent and got confused because the other exit is 1170 so this was a second exit calling for 589 funny part is you know after hours we went to 589 so all in all i was looking at support for entry reason being I was bullish on it and option volume was super high so basically I'm not only chasing at any time here I'm waiting for the right place to enter and even if I know that these guys paid a lot more for their option premium than we did here, um, we're expecting probably some more upside. The idea is to stick with the rule, which is half out, creating a free trade. We're making some money and I kept 20% on for the rest of the play. So I hope you guys, um, understand a little bit on how to be a sniper look for support resistance and make sure that you can be profitable on this all right nice to have you with us